Hello prayer friends, thank you for downloading and listening to this episode about faith and hope from our AfriChrist teaching and inspirational podcast library. Please feel free to kindly pass on our messages or internet links to family, friends, and others so they may also learn to pray with impact. Remember you can find us on all major podcast platforms such as Apple, Google, Podbean, Audible, and many more by just googling AfriChrist Podcasts. Now here is Sam Kowesa, the host and teacher. Hello, faithful prayer friends. I pray all is well with you and your loved ones. Join me as we explore a few nuggets from Scripture that will help you understand the power of faith and hope you already have within you that helps you pray with impact regardless of who you are, as long as you are a believer in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of your own life that you live by and use without even being conscious of it all because the Holy Spirit has been leading you all along. Don't feel awkward just because you may not know much in Scripture or because you're not in full-time ministry. Again, if you believe in your heart and follow what God has given each one of us known as the mustard seed faith, you are in this with all other believers together. Now I want you to picture yourself in every Scripture and testimony we give here and not looking at the things that could have been, but rather look at what is possible in the future. Don't think of what you could have done in the past, but rather what you are going to do from now on. For sure you may need to change the way you do a few things in your life, and even your behavior may need to change, but all for good. In your new self-image, see God first, the one who said he created you in his very image and made unrevocable promises regarding you as his human representative towards others, We will look at just a few power scriptures in this episode to get you started on this journey of faith. 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 10 through 11 says that each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. This scripture shows us that we all have been gifted with abilities that manifest God's grace in various ways and power to accomplish His work serving others through us. When you serve others, they fulfill God's plan for them through you, even as your own vision and dreams come to pass. The seed of faith has been planted in you, and you nurture it into growth as you walk that path of faith. In fact, Jesus goes on to say in Mark 10 verse 43 that, But among you it will be different. Whoever wants to be a leader among you must be your servant. And he continued saying that even he himself did not come to be served but to serve. Faith is knowing who you are in God, such that whatever you do can never change your position in Him. The book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Our hope in God's promises is the foundation of our faith because it makes specific substance out of the many things that the eye may be looking at. To clarify our faith, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7 says that we walk by faith, not by sight. If we walk by sight, we would have a hard time making some unlikely choices. Faith and hope go hand in hand as we follow the plan of God by the direction of the Holy Spirit. God is all-knowing and He has a plan for everything He created. In Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 and Psalms 139 verse 16, God says that He knew us before we were formed in our mother's womb. Note that the scripture here uses the word formed, which is different than created, which is used in Ephesians 1 verse 4, which says he chose us in Christ before the creation of the earth. In the womb, the seed from the father combined with the egg from the mother to form the child according to God's plan. You can see the significance of this further in Jeremiah chapter 11 verse 29, where we are reminded that there was already a plan for the formed being. This scripture says in part, that for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for evil. They are plans for you to prosper and give you hope. We have seen that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So let us go notch higher in our journey now that we have explored some active ingredients of faith. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 says that for we walk by faith and not by sight, because as we saw earlier, if we acted by what we see, we wouldn't know where to start. In between these scriptures we have explored is the walk of our faith populated by many other scriptures in the Word of God. 
The highway might seem confusing to us, but we serve a mighty God who is high and lifted up. Don't be bogged down by one scripture, one parable, or even one story in the Bible because out of the many in his word, God has a tailor-made plan for each one of us, just as he promised in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. You may be led by one yet bound by another, but continue to believe that by faith, the Holy Spirit will guide you using your specific God-given gifts, talents, and calling. Finally, let me finish this episode by encouraging you with two final scriptures that give hope and lift up our faith as believers. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 says that what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no mind has conceived the things God has prepared for those who love him. In other words, even with all these promises, even with all these scriptures you have read, you still have no idea what great things God has planned for you. So you have not conceived it all yet. You have not seen it with your eyes, and your mind can't even think it that far yet. That's how God works with those who have faith in him. Then Jesus gives one final ironclad promise in John 14 verse 18 that he will never leave us as orphans and that he would send us a helper, the Holy Spirit of God. So my friend, keep the faith and walk in your calling because the power behind you is greater than the task ahead. Be blessed until next time. We hope you have been blessed by this awesome teaching on the power of faith and hope found within all believers. Please note that some materials are edited excerpts from the book Praying with Impact by Sam Kowesa, 2010, and is downloadable on Apple Books. All rights reserved and graphics credit to their publishers as acknowledged here and elsewhere. In Luke 11 verse 1 the disciples asked Jesus to teach them to pray, even as John taught his disciples. Thank you and please pass on this teaching.